What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, aka Dr. Cellini, and I am a fifth year interventional radiology resident. Now I am currently on my sixth out of seventh 12 hour night shift in a row. And let's just say I'm a little tired and I apologize in advance for these bags under my eyes. And since it's my first time taking overnight diagnostic call in a very long time, I've quickly been reminded by a couple things that tend to annoy all radiologists, including myself. So I kind of wanted to make a fun video going over all the things that annoy radiologists because a lot of things tend to annoy us, which you will soon see. So don't take this video too seriously. I just wanted to show you all some things that tend to annoy us and make kind of a funny video out of it. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so the first thing that tends to annoy all radiologists is when you don't put the appropriate indication for the study you're ordering. For instance, if you order a CT abdomen pelvis on someone who is having acute abdominal pain and in the indication for the study you put other, I don't really know what to be searching for or what, what I'm supposed to be focusing on. So yes, I always look at CT abdomen pelvises all the same way with the exact same search pattern. But if I have an indication of other, I don't really know how to correlate my findings with what the patient has on physical examination. For instance, if the patient's having epigastric pain and they get a CT out of my pelvis, and I see, you know, a small hiatal hernia, which can cause GERD-like symptoms, I usually just mention it in the findings and move on. But if I get a CT scan with the indication of epigastric pain, I'll actually put that hiatal hernia I find in my impression to tell the clinician that there is a hiatal hernia and maybe it can cause some of those epigastric type symptoms like GERD and whatnot. So you can see how it's actually pretty useful if I have an indication for the study. Again, indication is everything. The more specific the indication, the better it is for us. It helps us zone in on certain areas you all are concerned about and it ultimately helps the patient get a diagnosis. So it's a win-win. All right, so the next thing that annoys radiologists is when you order a STAT study on a study that isn't STAT. STAT studies are reserved for patients who need imaging STAT. I know it sounds crazy. So we are required to read our STAT studies within 60 minutes of them showing up on our list. And when you abuse the STAT function in the hospital, the patients who actually need emergent studies read emergently get pushed behind and it could be problematic. So please don't order a STAT study if it's not STAT. All right, so the next thing that annoys radiologists is when anybody on the floor or at an outside facility calls down to the reading room and asks for a wet read on a non-emergent patient. Now, I like to pride myself on my turnaround times, and I promise to get everything out in an adequate amount of time or a reasonable amount of time for stuff that isn't emergent. Because after all, we triage every single study. Emergencies go first, urgencies go next, and then we follow that by just the routine outpatient kind of studies. Now, I don't want you to think that I don't like helping you because that is ultimately the job of a radiologist. We are the doctor's doctor and we are the consultants. We are there to go to when you have any questions about any imaging. However, to call down to the reading room and wish to speak to a radiologist just because you are curious about something, you know, if it's not emergent, it kind of interrupts us and it's a huge interruption for us so we may be actually reading an emergent study and we have to stop in the middle of it to answer the phone call pull up the other study go over that study with you close it out try to find out where we were in the previous study and it just kind of interrupts the workflow all right so the next thing that annoys radiologists is when you accuse us of missing something now don't get me wrong we are all human we strive for perfection in radiology because missing something is broadcasted to everybody and it's forever in text in an electronic medical record however we will inevitably miss something it's how the provider relays that information to us that annoys us so i'll give you an example that's happened to me and this is not how you should handle a situation when you think a radiologist has missed something so i was on by myself it was about two years ago overnight, and I had a surgery attending barge into my reading room, didn't say anything, and the first things out of their mouth was, you missed free air. So of course when someone says that, I started to like freak out because 
As a second year resident, you shouldn't be missing free air, especially on a CT. And you know, I thought I was gonna get like fired from my program and then I would hurt the patient and I was just gonna be a terrible radiologist. So then I pull up the scan and see where they thought there was free air. Turned out it wasn't free air, just air trapped within bowel, which is what I thought originally. And let's just say I was a little relieved. And after that attending left, I was like, there has to be a better way than just barging in and accusing the radiologist that they missed something. Like, can you imagine me just like barging into the OR and be like, you're doing it wrong? I mean, like, just like, that wouldn't happen. It's the same thing, but for some reason they are allowed to do that to us. So our preferred method is that you call us and say, hey, this was not commented on. Could you please review it? For example, say I was reading a lumbar spine MRI and I missed a small fracture. And say a neurosurgery attending was looking at their images like they always should and they saw a fracture that I didn't comment on. So then they would call me and say, hey, I noticed that you didn't comment on this fracture. And then I would go add an addendum to the report. So there are certain ways of handling it. The motto in radiology is, if you're not missing anything, you're not reading enough films. But there's always a correct way to deliver us the bad news that we missed something. And it is not like that attending did to me. So the next thing that annoys radiologists is when you order a study with IV contrast and the patient is in acute renal failure. The problem is, yes, I can just cancel the order, but I also have to call the ordering provider and kind of talk them through and say, do you really need a study? Can we do the study without contrast? Blah, blah, blah. And sometimes, you know, it takes me like 20 minutes to page them and to get called back. It's just the pain. So if they would just call me in the first place, we could kind of sort it out before and it'd be a lot easier. The next thing that annoys radiologists is when you hover over us while we're trying to read a study. And what I mean by this is when we first open a study, we haven't seen it and some of them can be very complicated and take us many minutes, 10, maybe 20 minutes to read or interpret. And when you're hovering over us asking us questions, you're kind of getting us out of our search pattern and just making it a little harder than it should be. I don't want to give you wrong information and when you're hovering over me, sometimes you say things quickly and you move too fast outside of your search pattern and you may get something incorrect and give the provider false information rather than just waiting for the study to be read correctly. All right, so the next thing that annoys radiologists is when you have a whole bunch of providers come into a room to kind of go over studies. A lot of medical teams in the hospital will come down to our reading room and go over a couple studies on their patients. But then there's always that one doctor, usually an intern, who will get like multiple pages when we're in the reading room and they will constantly be, yeah, uh, go ahead and uh, put the order in for the x-ray. Um, yeah, I'll be right there. The family's there? Okay, great. So say my co-resident is going over imaging with the medicine team and I'm over here trying to focus on my studies and I have that person in the background driving me crazy. So of course you can use my phone and answer a page, but be quiet about it. So by now you probably sensed a common thread amongst all these things that annoy radiologists. And that is that anything that interrupts us tends to annoy us. I always equate radiology to taking a very difficult exam one that you cannot screw up on, one that your life depends on it, almost like step one did in med school or any other board examination. When you're taking a serious examination like a board examination, the last thing you want done to you is someone to come over and interrupt you because you're in deep thought and any interruption can actually result in a negative consequence or can allow you to miss a question or in my instance, can cause me to hurt a patient. So any interruption leads me to the possibility of making an error and any error in radiology can be detrimental to the patient. So interruptions are no bueno. All right, so I'm gonna save the best for last on this one because this happens so often and I think it's so hilarious. So one of the most annoying things for us is when someone on the floor orders an imaging study and they just tack on additional imaging studies just because the patient's down there and they might as well. I can't tell you how many times we have, say, a CT abdomen pelvis ordered on a patient and either while the patient's in transport or just before the patient is called for, the team will call me and say, hey, can we also add a CTPE study on there as well? Now, obviously I don't mind reading the extra study. Well, depending on how busy I am, but it's just funny. Like, does the patient actually need that study or do you just wanna go ahead and do it while the patient's down there? I experienced this a lot when I was rotating in the surgery ICU just last month. Can't tell you how many times we ordered out of pelvis imaging and then the team was like, well, you might as well get the chest while they're down there. No reason, just 
You might as well get it. So only order imaging study on what you need. There's no reason to expose someone to additional radiation just, you know, for your own curiosity. All right, so that officially concludes this video and all of the things that annoy me as a radiologist or a radiology resident. This is by no means a complete list and I may think of others and do an additional video in the future. If you are a radiology tech or a radiologist or work in anything related to radiology, leave a comment below and tell me what you think is annoying for you. And if you're not in radiology, I would love to hear how radiologists annoy you in your day-to-day -day operations. So on that note, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Leave a comment below. If I like it, I'll respond to it. Make sure you turn on that post notification so you get notified when I post new videos, which is usually about once or twice every week. Otherwise, I'll see you all on the next video.